I'll tell you about everything this truck can do. It's amazing. I think it will also blow your mind. Let's start with performance. We have an acronym that we came up with that, in my opinion, really, really describes the performance. It's a tech speak term, but let me explain what it means in terms of acceleration. One thing we care about about Tesla is performance. We want a car that feels amazing and accelerates like nothing else. Let me demonstrate what the truck feels like in real time. Crowd cheers all right, let's go right into the electric vehicle's fast lane. Automobile revolution delving into the nuances of Tesla's most recent initiatives, fasten your seatbelts, because the sleek Cybertruck is ready to take you on an exciting ride. We're revealing the fascinating innovations reshaping the automobile environment, from the revolutionary Tesla Semi ready to change transportation. So grab your charging cables and come along on this thrilling journey as we decode the most recent information about Tesla and its exciting goals prepare to connect to the future's pulse. But before we go any further, please show your support by leaving a like on this video and becoming a channel subscriber. This is the news for Tesla stock, where each charge ignites a revolution. Let's begin in 2024. Tesla's electric semi is without a doubt their flagship offering. The Tesla semi has been a mystery to many despite its enormous size, but now we're removing the layers to give you an inside look at its journey thus far and what's coming up on January 23rd, 2024. The Globe gasped as Nevada Governor Joe Lombardo took the microphone to make a historic statement that seemed to ricochet through the innovation corridors and shake the automotive sector like thunder on a clear day. Governor Lombardo unveiled Tesla's bold plan to invest an additional $3.6 billion in expanding the massive gigafactory located in the middle of Nevada's vast desert. This enormous investment, like a powerful engine roaring to life, is not just a financial move, it's a seismic shift in the landscape of possibilities, as detailed in a blog post by Tesla the very next day. This ambitious venture sets the stage for an exciting spectacle of growth and innovation, imagining 3,000 fresh faces, eager minds these people are the architects of tomorrow, the guardians of advancement, not merely new hires. But what precisely does this monumental investment entail? It's a tale of two facilities, the first of which is a bastion of high volume, and the other an independent crucible of innovation. Production is devoted to the legendary Tesla Semi-True, a titan of contemporary engineering that will transform transportation as we know it, and this is only the start. The second establishment, the Herculean task of producing batteries, the lifeblood of 1.5 million light-duty vehicles, each year is handled by a symphony of whirring machinery and crackling energy. Imagine the hum of activity, the symphony of progress, as these facilities come to life, pulsating with the energy of a thousand dreams and the promise of a better, more sustainable future. This is more than just an investment, it's a bold statement that the era of fossil fuels is coming to an end and the era of electricity is here to stay. Following the Tesla Semi's outstanding performance at the most recent run on event organized by the North American Council for Freight Efficiency, this news was released. More than 18 days, 22 vehicles traveled across North America carrying out real orders while being constantly watched for different metrics. The information is quite compelling. In a real-world environment, the top-performing Tesla Semi outperformed rivals like Nikola Trey Bev Awa'i and the Freightliner EC Cascadia, covering an average of 574 meters per day. This demonstrates not only the truck's endurance but also its capability to operate at or near the maximum weight limit for zero-emission semi-trailer combos. However, it's not just about the miles covered, it's about the weight of expectation carried on those silent shoulders operating at or near the maximum weight limit for zero-emission semi-trailer combos. One of PepsiCo's Tesla Semis recorded an impressive 176 mil in a single day with just three quick stops for fast charging. This technical marvel, a behemoth of ingenuity, breaks new ground by demonstrating beyond a shadow of a doubt that performance and sustainability do not have to be mutually contradictory. An impressive display of efficiency and a beacon of hope for a future that is greener and more sustainable. Although PepsiCo is currently the only company receiving Tesla Semis, other large companies like UPS and DHL have placed sizable pre-orders, indicating a growing interest in electric fleet solutions. However, deliveries have been slow, and PepsiCo is still waiting on some of the vehicles they ordered. Beyond environmental concerns, 
adopting the Tesla Semi has strong financial benefits. Over time, switching to electric power can result in significant cost savings, making it a desirable choice for fleet managers seeking to reduce emissions and prices. Dan Priestley, in just three years of operation, you could save almost $200,000 in fuel alone, according to Tesla's senior manager of semi-engineering, which is a significant sum of money. Let's not forget the enormous difference in maintenance costs between fossil fuel guzzlers and electric vehicles. Fleet managers may save millions of dollars before they know it. But hold on. There's a catch although Tesla hasn't officially announced a price for its semis, industry insiders estimate that the 500-mile version will cost roughly $180,000. That's quite the investment, and there's also the issue of the infrastructure needed for charging. As standard semis only have an 850 to 900 kbwbwb. The Tesla supercharger was insufficient, so the company had to upgrade to a new 750k mega charger that could juice those enormous batteries to 70% in. Just 30 minutes. The problem is that there aren't many of these mega chargers around. PepsiCo is well aware of this struggle, having invested almost two years in upgrading its infrastructure at the Sacramento plant to handle the extra juice required for their fleet of Tesla semis. This is all part of their green mission accepting renewable energy sources and lowering reliance on the grid, let's now discuss range anxiety. The majority of PepsiCo. Fleet's routes are shorter, averaging about 100 meters per day, but a few courageous trucks go beyond, traveling 250 to 450 to 450 miles in a single trip. This presents a challenge for perspective. Purchasers until Tesla blocks its well-traveled roads with massive charges speaking of Tesla's plans, it's said that the company is preparing to build nine semi-charging stations along a 1,800-mile route from California to Texas. However, until then, the distance these trucks can travel on a single charge will be crucial for many. But wait, there's more can Tesla keep up with the pace? With demand surging and pre-orders piling up, its 4,680 cells are the talk of the town, promising more energy density and efficiency, but there's a snag in production as Tesla encounters some difficulties scaling up manufacturing. This is a whole new ball game with the popular Model Y. The device of Cybertrue and the highly anticipated $25,000 car code named Project Redwood, which is expected to join the roads in 2025, Tesla has great intentions, but all of these vehicles require battery cells, therefore the company is placing a large bet on its 4,600. Advertisements Applying dry coating techniques to larger batteries, like the 4680, has remained largely uncharted territory outside of controlled laboratory settings, but Tesla has taken the lead in scaling this process up with remarkable speed. They are facing challenges, particularly with the cathode which happens to be the preciest part of the battery, but fear not, with Tesla's army of engineers tackling the issue, it's only a matter of time before they crack the code. After all, if they can conjure up the cyber true, they surely can master dry coding right now. Let's talk priorities as production constraints loom. Tesla must make difficult choices about the distribution of its valuable battery packs. Given all the hype surrounding it, what? The commercial trucking industry is about to undergo a significant upheaval and cars like the Tesla Semi will be leading the charge. At this critical juncture in its journey to transform transportation, Tesla must overcome obstacles to increase battery production and make difficult choices about which products to prioritize. The Cybertruck could become the fleet's flagship, but will the semi-truck take center stage? The stakes are high. We're interested in hearing your thoughts on how Tesla's decisions will affect the larger market as manufacturing obstacles are removed and the electric vehicle landscape changes. Can Tesla maintain its advantage in the face of growing competition and cutting-edge technologies like hydrogen fuel cells? What do you believe the future holds for Tesla and the electric car sector in general? Please share your opinions in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep charged. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Tesla Insights for the most recent updates on the company's stock and the always shifting world of electric vehicles.